So let's take a look at some of the network commands that you can use in your Windows batch script. So let's create one bat file. So I have created one sample dot bat. Okay. I also want to navigate to the drive where I have this file. Okay. So after that, uh, first thing that I want to show you is how to make use of network commands. So you can make use of echo off so that it doesn't repeat the command. And the first command is net user. So this net user basically shows the user details on the system. Okay, so let's run this. Okay. So here I'm going to use sample.bat. And it returns for this machine's account. I have three accounts, one being administrator, one guest, and my account as administrator. Okay, so this was for our net user. So there is also net account command that shows the account and its specific restrictions. Okay, so let's run that. Type in your bat file name and here it shows you that I need to use accounts instead of account. Okay, and it also shows a list of available commands that we can take a look at. Okay, so let me change this account to accounts and run the bat file again. And here you see it shows that I don't have to log off for this and specific, okay? So the info su suggesting that uh, the restrictions apply to my account, okay? So there are no forced log off, minimum password age, etc. Okay, so all these things goes to show that if you are logged in as a particular user, it will show you only the restriction for that particular user. Okay, so that's one command. There is also one more command that you can check is statistics. Okay, so we can make use of net statistics and then so. Okay, so let's run this and find out how it works. Okay, and it shows you data for my machine, how many sessions, how many bytes sent, how many files access, etc. Okay, so when you use this statistic command and type in the name of server, then you will get the respective data for that. Okay, there is also one more command which is start so net then space start and then let's see name of the service which you want to start so i have spooler already started i want to stop it so i'm going to use net stop spooler now let's run the command okay before that let's clear the buffer now let's enter the command and it says system error five has occurred, access is denied. So I'm not allowed to use this start spooler or stop spooler unless I have elevated permission to run this command. So any command regarding setting restrictions requires you to have USC or you can say your admin privilege so that you can start and stop particular set of services. So these are some of the commands that you can try out and you can also then make use of net command and access additional commands from the command prompt. And here you can get information about each of the command and you can type in and find out how it works.